This is the walk of shame right now. Cody was cleaning up all the leftover dirt on the outside and he accidentally lifted the corner up. He's so mad at me. I told him you're not ever going to be able to tell. What? But you're not ever even going to notice. Nobody's going to notice. I'll notice. That's all that matters. I ain't doing it for everybody else. I'm doing it for us. Good morning, y'all. You like that's running and probably going to make you loud, right? You think? Well, maybe. Where's the microphones at? One's in your pocket, one's in me. I didn't put one in my pocket. I put it in there. Now it's getting rubbed all over. because I don't have one in my pocket. Yes, you do. Don't be accosting me without me knowing. Done for the day. Call it a day. You did your job? Did, okay. Did everything I need to get done today. I ain't gonna throw that out right here. All right. You could have left your dog in. Which one? No. Izzy, that's back here sitting here just like so sad. Oh no, she got it. All she got to do is jump. What are you doing? My suspenders come undone. Do you need help? No. Snap them back down. They hung on, on the door. On the All door. right, guys. So today, what are we doing? We're going to so finish today the we're gonna garden. Finish slicking off the garden spot from the gravel we put on it already. And I'm gonna get out the garden beds and put them together. I was gonna wait until the shade cast over the spot because you can't do anything without nearly dying right now. So. I could do it in the barn removal. We'll see. Um, we're gonna finish painting the chicken church, put the last coat of paint on the chicken church today. I'm gonna paint the steeple today. Um, what else we got to do? Basically all of the Erica stuff. Yeah, we're going to try to get it all wrapped <laughs> so up today. So he can today, get back to So his we can get back to work <laughs> on the Clancy's pickup <coughs> and other things we got going. So we got to get all this stuff done because we are leaving Wednesday. Yeah, we'll be gone. Well, Wednesday we're going to go speak at a, a Farm Bureau event. And then Thursday morning we're leaving to go to Oklahoma until Sunday. So we got to get all our stuff done because we'll be gone for a few days. So. I, I want to just get Erica's stuff done because I'm tired of messing with it. Okay. I got other things to do. We're going to kill the whole month working on that stuff. Come on. Oh, sheep knocked my panels over over here. Oh, Cody. Why did you bring that coffee cup, anyways? Because all my coffee cups were outside or in the truck and not clean. Why? So I grabbed this one. But why were they? Because you hadn't washed dishes in a while. No, but because they weren't in the house to be washed. Wrong answer. I'm not going to go find all your coffee cups. The sheep have done a good job grazing all this back down. We put them in here for a couple of days. It was getting growed up. Yep. Let's go shut this gate off so we can leave this stuff back here open. What's the matter, kitties? They were all out here. Yeah, they're all. They all scattered. Behind the barn, in behind the Everybody. hay back right here. That's that. Th that kitty. There's something wrong with her. Wow. Do you see her eyes? You got a matted eye. Yeah. yeah. She's the one that's always laying down here, and her eyes look all matted. I don't know. Might need to put some kind of ointment around or something. What are you three doing? I want some food. There you go, kitties. Get them another one for the kittens. Oh, 
We had 13 kittens and now we're probably down, we got rid of two, so we have 11. We need to get them to their homes before we can't catch them anymore. There's only one I want to keep, as long as she's a girl. I haven't checked to see if she's a girl. All right, let's check on the chicks. Let's check on the brooder chick, the chicks and the brooder. Y'all dumped your water over again. So you need water. Hi, chickies. Y'all are getting big. All right. I'm gonna see if this other water will fit in there. I think it's, I don't think it's too tall. I think it'll work. This one, let's see if that'll fit. Oh yeah, that'll fit in there. Okay, so let's put that together and see how they like that. Just screw in the drinking cups. This says handles up to 24 birds. We only have, I don't even know how many we have, 10. Hope they're, oh, they're flying out over there. Get back in your thing. Y'all are not gonna like it out here. The dogs are gonna get you. Get back in there. Okay, this one seems really loose. I think I'm gonna have to try to get it around again. All right. Get back in there. Let's put water in there and see how she feels. We'll see if it works. How many birds are out over here? We got at least two out. Y'all gotta get back in your pen. I'm gonna catch y'all. <sighs> Come here. Come here. Okay. there so that's cool okay so here's how it works so now they just push down on this and it fills it up and gives them water Let's see if they can figure it out but now we have to go catch these two chickens so I'll put you down for a minute while I catch chickens All right, maybe we can feed the big chicks without anybody getting out. <laughs> it's already hot outside. Hey, mama chicks. <laughs> hey, girls. All 
right, time to go help Cody. All right, so we are now, Cody's been straightening out this side of the garden spot that bowed out when he put the sand in it. And he's fighting with this drill bit that he has because not long enough. But it's pretty straight now. Hey, your drill bit didn't come off that time. Yeah, well, we ain't done yet. Hey, I said that time. Do you have two pieces left? You only have one. I gotta go cut. Cut one, I guess. Our dude's going there and weld this thing together so it don't come apart. How many pieces are you gonna put in? Just two more. Just this one and one more. Sure it'll be fine, huh? Yep. One more. Cut this thing in half, I guess. I just want to know why you didn't give me a square shovel the other night. What? Why didn't you give me a square shovel the other night? When? When I was shoveling. Y'all didn't need a square shovel then. We were doing the sides like that. No, not like the sides. Wasn't the same. Yes, it was. This looks way easier. Everything looks easier when the man operating it knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get my be garden beds. I'm going to load them up. That don't look so high in the middle now when you get that little hump off of there. Yeah. That looks more level now. I think it looks good. How do you feel about all the stuff on the edge? How do you feel about what about this? About the sides of our... Looks like junk. I know. What are you going to do about that? I don't know. That thing's still curling over, huh? Yeah. This is the walk of shame right now. Cody was cleaning up all the leftover dirt on the outside. And he accidentally lifted the corner up. He's so mad at me. I told him you're not ever going to be able to tell. What? But you're not ever even going to notice. Nobody's going to notice. I'll notice. That's all that matters. I ain't doing it for everybody else. I'm doing it for us. guys after about five hour break we didn't take a break we just didn't video for the last five hours we're back we finished this Cody finished it I helped a tiny tiny bit it rained a little bit on it and we sprinkled it a little bit it didn't rain enough to do anything but I watered it down good so 
It's pretty good. It's not perfectly flat. I, I wish I had a, ro a skid steer with a roller, because then I could make it just like I want it. But after it dries, it'll be nice and hard, it dries, though. It'll harden up. Yep. So, and we finished painting the chicken church, so that'll be ready to do something with. So maybe tomorrow, depending on what what all we got going on, we might put the roof on the chicken church. Awesome. And the steeples painted. Once we get the roof on, then it'll be. Well, I mean, it'll take a little work, but not a whole lot to put the chicken, the roof on. I mean, the, the steeple on, and then we get to screw the. Uh, what are those things called? Shutters on. Open oh yeah, windows. shutters. Put the lights on. Put the lights on and the bell in, and it'll be done. So about four awesome. hours worth of junk. So. Now we're going to put together our raised beds. So. We've got, so let, let's show them our designs here first. Oh yeah, so, here you go. So this is what, so I like to draw out and map out everything. So this is what we're doing for Erica's garden. So it's about tw 12 it's foot out garden. from the fence. It's our garden, yeah. babe. And about 40 foot long. It's actually 38, 39, four because I mismeasured, but I digress. So we're gonna have L-shaped beds on the outsides. And then we're gonna have these two foot wide by eight foot long beds in the middle and then some little round ones to plant flowers in to draw bugs and stuff to that and set it to the plants. So that is our plan. What and color are they? So the L-shaped ones are gonna be a midnight gray, a real dark gray, and everything else I believe is going to be red. barn red. So it'll be gray, gray and, and red. red. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and our beds are from Ollie. Our beds that, that we got are from Ollie Gardens. Let's stand it up here. So these are the round ones. So this is all of our beds right here in the back of the buggy. So this is the way they come. Um, we've never put any of them together before, so this is going to be our first time trying them. But OllieGardens.com. Um, so watch we, us. I've got to know the owner, Steve. I called and talked to him about beds when we were looking for some super nice neat guy i mean when you call a phone number for a company and the boss answers the phone the owner answers the phone that says a lot i mean i've, I've called companies and and you know you just get to run around you get to run around and you never get to talk to anybody but the owner answered the phone when i called and it was uh it's pretty good i i i'm super excited so all of our beds are going to be 17 inches tall except for these round ones which we're gonna make them 32 inches tall, I think is what they are. So That's what it says right there. Well, you, they, you either get two yeah. 17s or you can stack them and right. make one 32. So we're gonna stack them right. and make them a little bit taller. That's what we're thinking. We, we'll, we'll look at it once we get it going and see. So what do you wanna put together first? An L-shaped one? That's kind of where we need to make all yeah. the measurements. Let's do of. our L-shaped one first. So I think they're, they're in, the back. in the back. But we can just unload them all right now. Should we put them all on the dirt? Put them in their spots? Up there? Yeah. I guess we could. I don't know. I don't want to be walking around them. Okay. Oh, here's an L-shaped right here. So, so right here on the box, that's, that's awesome. So you can either make it L-shaped. So this, this L-shaped, we're gonna L-shape it, but you can configure it in a U-shape, a rectangle, or a long rectangle, so a 12 foot long rectangle. Um, we're gonna go for the L shaped so that it matches our schematics there. So All right. do we wanna take it over there instead? Or we can just do it right here in front of it and then put it on and then I carry it to it. I don't know how easy it is to carry. So let's see. <coughs> Sorry. Per our, per our schematic, we need to be two foot six inches off the edge of the bed over there to uh, start it out. So I think let's just go two, two foot four, since we're eight inches short, and that'll be where we're gonna lay everything out at. So let's take this guy. We're gonna put him about right. I'm gonna get my chair. I thought you was putting this together. We are putting it together, remember? I was putting my radio. On. I was gonna put it together by myself, and you said we well, have to do it together. 
I wanted to put it together by myself, but you won't let me, Cody. I'll let you try one and then I'll do the rest. How about that? Oh, that's so pretty. I'm liking it already. Are you? Yep. This way. So this is a corner. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have more cardboard to put in my beds. Yep. Outside corners. And yesterday we made it to Waco in time to get my compost to fill all my beds. Right. Yep. So that's the binding that goes around the top. We can smell it from here. Assembly instructions. You hold that. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I got some gloves. Oh, look at this. And little. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. And I got a worm composter for one of my beds. I, I probably want to put it in one of these, huh? Yeah, I mean, we probably might end up getting, we need probably need one for each of the big ones. I don't know, we'll. We'll see. We'll see, so. Kind of lay everything out here. So this is the binding that goes around the top when we're completely. Oh down. yeah, okay. And here's it looks like all of our hardware to put it together with. There's a pin to write on your I love those little markers. Sometimes I just use popsicle sticks, but those are way cuter. Okay. Do you need some help? Huh? Do you need help? There we go. Let's lay that down and lay this on top. So that's the... That's, what that's color the color. color yep. Have. So... And they come with this coating on them and everything metal. so they don't get messed up. Yep. First on all of them. Take all the stuff off. Yeah. My mind need to find some what place to sit this down. Yeah. I bet you're gonna need to. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Can I just back this thing up? Yeah, probably so. Or do, or are you gonna want to use it? Do you want to have a table? You want me to go get the table? Didn't you just buy a new one? Yeah, it's in the leather shop. Would you like to use that? to be able to sit stuff like this on? Maybe, yeah. I don't know what to do with maybes. One of the reasons, guys, while we set this garden area up here is because you can see right now it's what time? Maybe six o'clock? It is 6.40 actually. So right now this entire spot right here is in the shade. So. In the evening, when you're out here working, set it on that box up there. Well, that might be too high. Oh, I guess we can just angle it down. It's kind of crooked, though. Kind of crooked, isn't yeah. that crooked? That's why I was like, I gotta find a spot to. Kind of crooked. If we move this, I might could sit it right here. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Can you move this? This. Yeah. This box. Yeah. I think the whole thing's crooked, ain't it? No, it was just over here, it was like falling because it was. I think it's better right there now. So, anyways, this will all be in the shade. So, I, we, we used to have our raised bed gardens behind the house. I think a few videos back, you might have seen where we tore those out and slicked all the ground back off and everything. But they did all right, but they never did really good, which we made quite. They a few, all did really good. We made quite a few mistakes with them. Um, here, after about five o'clock in the afternoon, this will be really that just that shadow just hit the edge of it. So, it, I think this will be way better. So, um, the instructions said to lay it all out on the ground and make sure all the corners were in the right spot. Um, we know where we're going to put everything, so I know it's going to fit right. All we have to do is just lay it out the way we want it done. So, I'm going to grab right here. 
we're going to do the L shape. And so we need the... We still use them all, right? Yes, we're going to use all the panels, yeah. All right, your live action, Cody. All right, so we about got all the the plastic off of this first bed. And what we found is, is if you start at the top and kind of get it all the way across the top, if you'll get the get that cellophane, that plastic kind of started. And let me turn it around here and show you. So get it about like this. Then you can just work it down. And this is kind of one of those necessary evils. I mean, you got to have it on there to keep the metal, the, the sheets from getting scratched up while they're in transport and stuff and storage, I guess. But um, they're kind of, it's kind of a no fun taking it off. But it really, I mean, it's not bad. Here. It's been, it's been maybe 15 minutes that we spent doing there's this. A bunch, there's a bunch of these For this. sheets on here. So, yeah. Um, and Eric has only done like two, so. Well, I was doing something else. It's not that bad is all I'm trying to say. So um, just kind of start at the top, get it get it down below these little holes, these bolt holes that are on there. And then once you get that done, it it just, you can about get it in one hole too if you, if you play your cards right, so to speak. You play your cards right. Once you kind of get it started, then just. I'm showing them right here live action. Are you? Slow it down. Man live, action. live action. What is Turtle Man? Oh, He's I forgot about that. Action. That was a long time ago. We're stacking them back up here. You want to be real careful doing that because if you just slide them on there, you're going to scratch that awesome pipe. <laughs> all right, so we got all those pieces. We got all oh, we need to do our corners inside and outside corners. Mm -hmm. That'll be an inside corner, Erica. And then you'll be the outside corners. All this cardboard, guys, y'all want to keep that if you get these kind of boxes because you want to line the bottoms of these beds with this. It just kind of uh, helps control the moisture and stuff. That's kind of what all the gurus say to do. So that's what we're going to do is put it in there. So. If you're wondering why Clance ain't here helping with that, with this, one of his friends from school and church was having a birthday party this weekend, a little camp out kind of stuff. And so he went over there yesterday and spent the night with him and stayed again tonight. Tomorrow is going to be Sunday. We're going to have outdoor service at our church. Um, for Memorial Day, we always go out to my aunt and uncle's place, and uh, my, I guess actually my cousin's place, but he has a really big tank or pond, you guys may call it, so we'll set up around it and have our service around right at, right at it, and then after the service is over, we cook hot dogs for everybody and eat, eat and then all the kids go swimming, have a good time fellowship and uh, it, it's fun so we encourage you guys if you're not already going to church to find you a church home find some folks that you can fellowship with and learn learn and grow in the Lord it's a, we see a benefit in it and we think you will too Oh, we gotta do it. We gotta do a TikTok or in a short and stuff on. Well, we didn't even put it on. Did we put it on YouTube? Yeah, I did because I shortened it. What's that? About the um, stop, quit drinking to buy our land. You know. You already did it. I know. I forgot I had put it on YouTube. I short, I shortened version of it. But um, somebody asked another good question to follow up on that. Was did we like lose friends and yeah. stuff? You know. And I thought that was a good follow-up question, you know. So, 
we'll have to do that. I don't think we lost friends. We just lost invitations that we didn't really yeah, care to go to anyways. You don't get invited to the... Well, you should, at first you did, but then we... Oh, yeah, we still got invited at first, and then we just stopped. When you, when you quit going to those things, after a while, they quit inviting you. But that's all right. I still have dirt all in my fingernails and my fingernails. I forgot to clean it out of my fingernails. Y'all, so earlier... Good. Cody wanted to show me a, he wanted to catch a um, soft See, shell turtle. I was driving around and I, I found some stuff in the creek back here. A snake that I showed her so she could take some pictures of it in the creek. And then we were riding around and we found a big old red ear snapper. Red -eared snapper. And she took some pictures of it and then we were driving, driving along and up on the bank was a big old soft shell turtle. And, uh, I'd ask her, I asked Erica if she'd ever touched one. She said no, so I was going to catch it for her. And uh, when I went to catch it, it... Jumped in the water. Jumped in the water and got away from me. So she was going to walk around in the water, and sit, not in the water, but on the edge and see if she could see it. And uh, I went to step on what I thought looked like a little island, and it was just silt. It was just... I sunk down about that far. She sunk. With my shoes on. Okay. So now I'm covered in mud. Okay, grab our bag of... Put her together as over there. Our hardware. <coughs> nice. This little Phillips head. Looks like you got washers. And nuts. I don't know if we have to double nut them. We need to look at that. But looks like you got everything you need here. Now, guys, you could put this together with a regular old screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and this little wrench they send you, but I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go get my impact, my little cordless impact, and a screwdriver, that way we can just make it go a little faster. So, um, I'm gonna go grab that. Let's see here if it tells us how you're You know, you have two of those there? I know. Oh, okay. So, Give y'all a little. So, like I said, you can put this together with the stuff that's provided, but I'm gonna cheat a little bit. So, cheater, what cheater. I, what I'm gonna do so that just to speed things up is I've grabbed. My hand won't come out of my pocket. So I got two 10 millimeter wrenches, which will fit on the the nuts that are provided for us. Two 10 millimeter inches, so one for Erica, one for myself. How am I gonna video? Well, I guess you're just gonna set it up. I don't know. Oh, okay. And then I also grabbed a couple of cordless drills with a number three Phillips head bit in there. And that'll what that'll do is get down in there good so that you don't strip it out. We're just gonna get these hand tight to start them off with and get everything set up. So what are these things for? Those are expansion rods, so they're gonna go in there. So when you fill it full of dirt, it doesn't oh, okay. blow out. Okay. So, um, so guys, we're going to do the old L shape here. And we're going to put the 102 inch side on this side and then the 78 down that way. So we're only going to use one of these inside corners. And then these two short ones go side by side on that, going one on each side. So I'm going to put that together and then set it up there. And then I'll probably do the outside corner ones, mock them up here on our table and set them up. And then all we have to do is put the middle pieces in. Okay. So you want to set that down so you can help? Yeah. That'd be great. So where are you going to do it at? I think I'm just going to try to do some of the assembly right here on the table. Okay. That way we don't have to bend over the whole time. All right. So if you'll be in charge of getting... Another bolt and a washer out. So the instructions. <coughs> Sorry. So the instructions tell us that all of your corner pieces go on the outside, like such. Outside. 
on the outside of the but this is the color that has to be on the outside okay so i'm going to make this simple for erica because now you see how it's on the outside of the panel right does, does that make sense yeah instead of placing it on the inside yeah, i understand that part because here when the pressure's on it it would want to blow it open i know but i understand that part i what, just what now mean? i see that it's going to turn this way gotcha. i just didn't understand that part okay so you put that in from the front Whoop. which part just the nut that's the bolt i mean just the bolt yep okay we're going to put a top one and a bottom one in and we'll just do i need to hold this or do all I right get... let's get the bottom one in now Sometimes I feel like I'm working with my brother's kids. Well, I told you I needed a bowl for this, and you said, oh, it's fine. Well, go get a bowl then. I don't have a bowl. I mean, I got a magnetic bowl. I know, that's what I was going to Do you want to separate? Are you, are you going to sit down there and separate them all? I wasn't talking about that. It was just easier to pull stuff oh, out like that. I see. All right. Well, let's go get one. That's all right. All right. Now we're going to put this one here. These are our shorter panels. All right. So we're putting the, just putting the bolt on from the outside and then the washer and the nut on the inside. And like I said, we're just hand tightening these until we kind of get it all set up. Get it all figured out. There we go. That may, I don't guess that makes any difference which is the top or the bottom, does it? I don't say nothing in here. Let's, but let me look and make sure. Set that corner there. I'll set this corner here. Oh, you didn't. What? That's, That's yours. not mine. That's How do you know? We're going to play back the video and make sure. That was probably when I had a phone call or something. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Can we go that way just a little bit? Mm hmm. Where it ain't going to fall off? Mm hmm. Oh, I got it on the wrong way. My, my bolt goes on this. My bolt goes on this side, right? Yep. Is this a race? No. no. I want you to be a part of it. I don't want to just whip you and everything you do. I know. I'm already ahead of you. Well, it's kind of like fishing. I'm still over here getting all the tack tackle and everything ready. And you're already got your line in the water. Now you're trying to race me. It's not a race, Erica. Uh, this one? Yeah. Should leave you close to three foot here. You've got two and a half there. Do you think you want more than that, or is that going to be? Do you want to split it down the middle? Sure. So 
we need to move it this way three more inches. I mean, this is a. I don't. I think I. I don't know. Whatever you. Whatever you want, Susan. I had that right where it needed to be. Uh, well. The bottom one, not the. But that's all right. Go ahead and get together. And this guy's gonna go right here. Cody, you can look behind it, weirdo. guys so now we just got to put in all the fill in nuts and bolts and this one is officially done right babe well we have to put the binding around the top oh yeah we'll put the binding around the top but it's getting kind of dark so i don't want to like can we put the binding in first or not no, i don't want to think we need to get everything all right so we'll show you more later but in case it gets too dark because the sun you can see the beautiful sunset coming down so that's what we have so far more to come Light. all right guys it's still light enough we got all the nuts and bolts in and tightened down got everything tight and now co-dizzle is so, so it comes with this safety deal that goes around the top to keep you from you know brushing up against it and getting cut or something so I've dealt with this kind of stuff on some trailers and stuff before, around some windows and stuff. This, I will tell y'all, this is 100% easier to put on than that old stuff. I mean, even going around those corners, I mean, that's easy. Yeah, it looks good. Makes it look extra Finished finished. Off and professional. Yep. Keeps you safe. Kids. All right. All right. I'm going to get off here so she's I can. She's going to keep it. She don't want it getting dirty. Yep. So she's going to unwind it and keep it from, un get it untwisted. So. All right, guys. We're back. We are unboxing our second one. This one is a. This one is going to be. Oh, an oblong one. Is that what you call that? Oblong? Yep. That's going to be so sweet. So this one has. 17 it's 17 inches tall just like that but there's 12 different configurations you can put this one in but we're going to do about a two foot wide by eight foot long we're going to have three of those that are going to be that size that's a pretty color that's going to go good with that gray color and with our um nice uh original rust colored lots yeah i love it Ooh, looky here Got some more. Got some more of our stuff. Labelers. So every one of them comes with the little labels and a pen for it, and then the gardening gloves. Gardening gloves. Yep. And your instructions. Nice. All right, we got Clint helping us today. Maybe he's he's eating a sandwich right now. Where did he get a sandwich from? I made him. He asked for one, so I made him one. You made him a sandwich? Yeah. He didn't know he's gonna have to come work, and so he was not prepared. See, that's gonna be. That's gonna be so cute. That'll I look good it. with those. Mm -hmm. Those colors will look good together, huh? Yep. This is gonna look so good, guys. Cody, you scratched it. You lit. Look. Good job. What do you say this is going to look good when? When it's all out. I'm just excited to see them all out together. All right, our first oblong one is almost complete. This time we decided to do it different. Yeah, we decided to assemble this one on our little table here. And instead of just putting in the top and bottom bolts and nuts, we put all of them in every time. Yeah, we th thought that might speed it up a little bit. And uh, when we get it set on the ground, and kind of let it level itself out the way we want it. Then Clance is going to go around and tighten them, tighten them up while Eric and I start on the next part. Mom's going to go there while we start on this part. Mm, no, that's not what I said. <laughs> I was going to show y'all though. These, this is the 
So this is how you could arrange it. You can arrange it 12 different ways. And we chose the, which one did we do? We did the 96 by- 24? 24, yeah, eight yeah. by- So, pretty cool. No, I didn't drop one. Anyway, Why do you so not that's have the next a, one. Your one Stay nuts, tuned, one, it's gonna go up here. Oh, here's one on the ground. Yep, these three. All right, guys. So, oh, hold on. Let's see what Cody's doing. He's tightening. All right, guys. So this one was sent. This one was meant to be a double, right? Well, that's what I've got drawn up in my plans. Cody has drawn up that this is twice as high as the rest of everything, and it's a flower planter. So we put them together separately, and then we're gonna kind of like envision what it would look like taller. Y'all tell me in the comments what you would do. I'm gonna have to make a decision before I see your comments, but what do you think, bub? I think I'm ready to leave. I think it would be pretty. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, I mean, let's put them together, and if you don't like it, all you gotta do is take out four yeah, bolts and you I you're think done. I like it. All right. I think I'm ready to be done with all this gardening. We all having a race over here? Oh, here's gonna, here's gonna race for it. No, we're just trying to get it done, Erica. Well, what have you been doing? Just check the camera. How was your nap? I didn't take a nap. Cody just did his sermon and I took the camera inside and sat it down and came back out here. Calm down. But we're on the last one. We're on the last bed. When we get it done, we're going to have it done tonight. Maybe not before dark, but pretty close. Yeah, we might have to show the final reveal tomorrow. Yep. And then all we'll have left to do is take this load of dirt in this dump trailer right here behind us and fill them up. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. First load of dirt going in. What do you say? A dog did that while we were standing, while we were out here working. Mom, move that water hose, please. Bub, move the water hose. Field. Not too much spillage. All right. It's getting dark, so we're gonna have to come back to you tomorrow. We're trying to get these filled up before we leave for Oklahoma, so they don't blow away. All right, got a shovel now. It's so warm. You can feel the warmth coming know, off of it. It's like 